G'day, YouTube. I thought it had been a while since I've done a, uh, fringe, a Highland Fringe tour, so I thought I'd bring you through and have a look through at what's been going on in here and how everything's coming along. Uh, so I'll swing you around and I might start at the bottom. It's time for a change. Uh, this is gorgeous Aristolacoides up the front. Uh, there's a new smaller one there. And a couple of pictures hiding in there. Um, actually, if anyone has a uh, happens to have a female coming into flower, uh, this male's flowering again. This one here sent three flower spikes. Uh, I ended up cutting them off. I've done done a little bit of breeding with them. Did a couple of hybrids and. With a friend of mine, managed to do uh, horticultural aristolacoides, so that's very exciting. Um, but definitely keen to do more if anyone has any coming into flower. It's, as you can see here, it's a beautifully shaped, oops, sorry, beautifully shaped picture too, nice and dark. And what else is looking good in here? Ah, uh, lowly I cross. Mulipuluensis, I think it is. Mulipuluensis cross lowly eye, sorry. That's definitely a name I don't say very often. Uh, beautiful Jacqueline down here. You see, these don't tend to love the amount of light my fridges get, but unfortunately can't make everything happy. There's a newer little picture there. Now you can see at the back here, Raja is looking absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, the lid's starting to fade. I don't know, don't know what that's from because that's a fairly new picture. But anyway, beautiful picture nonetheless. Uh, hiding in behind around that is Diatus. Now, unfortunately, I broke the lid on this picture trying to dig it out. Doesn't want to come out here. Trying to dig it out a while ago, but that's there. And hopefully, if, I think there's an, another one coming in there as well. Uh, whoop. Uh, not sure you'll be able to see in there, but there's another nice Raja picture on my smaller plant. It's Another nice little Rustolacoides hiding in the moss there. Yeah, we'll move up to the next shelf. You see the star of this shelf is always going to be the uh, the lowly eye out the back there. That is looking absolutely gorgeous. But we'll get to that. So he's moving a few things around so we can see better. Uh, nice little jam band cutting, coming in there. Uh, I think these are a new addition since last time from my mate at Old World Botanicals. And finally got some Nepenthes afupiata, which is just absolutely gorgeous, even at a small size. See so a new picture coming there. And in over here, whoop, I'll move it too much, but another gorgeous one back there. And nice little glabrata there. Some, uh, oh, no breaking. Some nice little hamada pictures. And this is one of the uh, BE clones. I think this is the Tambusi, the Lumut. And behind that, it wants to, oh, there's my big original Lumut. And that's running up past the shelf there. And that is Tambusi Cross Lamut from BE. I think I've got that order correct. Uh, let's see. Oh, can't skip over this Lingulata. Oh, folks. It's a bit dark. It's uh, getting 
pretty dark early here now, so running out of daylight pretty quickly. Uh, Inimus, looking gorgeous in there. What's my... So I'm just trying to figure out what different pictures are. Oh, that's a nice, uh, maybe a Hamada upper picture coming there, or maybe an intermediate. We'll have to wait and see for that. That's pretty cool. The Inimus, it's got another picture there. And behind that, unfortunately, I don't know what happened to that leaf there. Somehow it got a little bit burnt. That's on the big, my, well, my bigger lowly eye. And check out those lid bristles there. That is just amazing. Uh, let's see if I can get some light on the situation. Look at that. It is absolutely stunning, that plant. And below that is Poloanensis. Um, I can't actually see. I think the picture there is rotted. But I think there's some new ones coming, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, and behind that. Oop. It's always tricky trying to move things around here, but you've got another gorgeous lingulata there. Uh, ah. It's a nice exudate on this smaller lowly eye picture. And in front of that, you've got Singalana looking really nice and dark there. Alyssa Petrana or Bavigio cross, or Raja cross Bavigio. I'm not sure which way that goes. Uh, ah, another nice little, little lowly eye picture with some cute little lead hairs. A really nice squat shape to this one. Uh, there's another lowly eye there as well. And finally, after quite some time, it looks like my mollus has settled into the fridge, so that's, uh, might have pictured once when it first moved in, but that looks like it's going to be a really nice picture, that one. And I'm trying to think if there's anything I've missed here. There's a few more lowly eye. Oh. Always picking, picking weeds out as I see them in here. Uh, so this is still running at 25 degree days and drops down to 14 degree nights. Though the bottom shelf here uh, does cool down a bit more. It gets closer to about 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm not too great on my uh, Fahrenheit conversion, so you might have to Google that if you're in the States. Oh. <laughs> uh, I haven't actually seen this yet, but let's see if I can get it to focus. It does not want to focus on that, but that is an absolutely beautiful jamban upper picture. I think that's my first upper, and it's down there below the shelf between the lights. I might have to try and uh, wrangle some stuff around and see if I can get that out and get that above, but I won't do that. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that on video in case I'm trying to do it with one hand, I end up dropping something. Uh, so up to the next shelf here, a nice little flava. This was actually an accidental basil cutting. I did off one of my other plants, which has now moved out into the greenhouse. Uh, another little jam ban there, looking gorgeous. I think I overfed a couple of the pictures, so I might have to wait a little bit. Another glabrata. Oh. Nice little glabrata there as well. Not sure what happened to the growth tip on that, but it looks like it's coming back, which is good. Um, Mikei, which I think is an, another new one since the last video. Uh, it's still settling in. I gave it a repot recently, so it might take a little bit. Now uh, Behind that is Peltata. Not much on that. I at this size, especially with newer plants, I tend to over or feed the pitchers quite heavily. So every now and then I end up overfeeding them and cooking the pitchers. But there's plenty more where that came from, so I'm not too worried. 
a nice uh, Bavigio picture there. So it's very tricky to see what the uh, camera is looking at. There's another Bavigio there. And this is the tip top of my Hamata from the shelf below. Uh, see if I can get this jam band picture out. See everything is tangling and everything. Oh, I guess I'd be pretty close to calling that a uh, an upper picture on jam band. But check out the shape on that. Just beautiful toilet bowl shape. Yeah, a few little fungus snaps and things in there. But this plant just it's got a nice big basil on it here, and it just vines through, winds up around everything here, and is coming back around. Um, not too sure what to do about this because I don't have uh, anywhere else to grow with good highland conditions at the moment. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. Uh, here's another stunning Jacqueline. Just check out how wide and gorgeous that peristome is on that. It is such a great species. Uh, and again, that one's not loving the light levels. The You can see the light damage on the leaves there. The newer ones tend to come out without it. But uh, it, they do tend to blotch up and go a bit yellow quite quickly. Uh, in front of that, folks, another Bavigia. This one looks like it's going to be a much redder color than the previous one. And I know this is definitely a, uh, a new addition, but I might just shuffle that out. Uh, check out the size of this Edward Ziana. I picked up off a mate of mine. Unfortunately, he's starting to uh, step away from Nepenthes and go into a few other things. So he wanted to clear out some space and wanted to make sure that this plant went somewhere where it was going to be cared for properly. Now that, that's one of the pictures that came with. Just starting to fade off there, but just how beautiful are the teeth on that. And it does have another picture forming in the back there. I got a little bit sun damage when it first arrived, but that's nothing to worry about. Uh, next to that, we got a Vata. Nice little Levada sitting in here. I think I'm truly due for a new picture on that soon. Oh, there's one coming down there. There might be one out the back that I can't see. And then that's my original Edward Siana. I'm going to try and zoom in on those teeth for that. Because that is just absolutely gorgeous. And I feel the teeth on... That one might actually be, for the size of the picture, a bit bigger than the new one there. But it'll be interesting to see how they mature and grow out side by side. Uh, what else is in there? you got a clear for a miner back there. It did have some mites a while ago, but it's all cleared up. And I, I actually want to move that back into my heli tank over here, but I have no idea how to get it out, unfortunately, because. Jam band's going wild. The Jacqueline's leaning over it. Everything's going on in there. Uh, if I zoom in, oops, sorry. Zoom in first. I guess I've got to sort out that moss. The back there's a nice little uh, Attenborough picture. See a very red line of it. This one. Oh, this plant definitely needs a repot, but again, trying to get things out of this shelf uh, is easier said than done. But it might be coming close to time to uh, pull everything out, give the walls a clean up. I know I got a bit of algae. Doesn't really show on camera. It's a bit of algae starting to grow on the walls. Down here, you can really see it there. So, running down. So, it's definitely time to uh, give this a sort out. 
just thought it'd be a nice little quick tour today. So that's the Highland Fridge, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.